I'm here in Barcelona this summer with funding from the Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program. I received a year off grant to study in Ireland this summer. Living in Ireland is wonderful and if I wasn't able to get the grant I definitely wouldn't have been able to come here and see the things I'm seeing. It's really allowed me to immerse myself in a culture and really dive into a topic I'm really passionate about. I'm here in Barcelona this summer with Paul Grimma, who's a fellow student of mine, studying the higher rates of cesarean sections um, across Spain. We've been working with professors at Universitat Pompeu Fabra. Hola, buenas tardes. Hola. Me llamo Nico. And then while we've been there, we've been interviewing the students to try to get an understanding of the youthful perspective of support systems throughout the birth process. ¿Y qué piensas que... Additionally, we've been speaking with parents and people of the community trying to get an understanding of their experience with the healthcare system here, specifically with a focus on their public health care system. In Extremadura, where we're going after this, they have a cesarean rate of over 27%, whereas Pais Basco, they have a rate of just over 12%. And so that's why we're going from region to region, trying to get an understanding of why these differences exist. We received funding from the Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program. There'd be no way I could do this entire research project without the help of of this awesome grant. It's really allowed me to immerse myself in a culture, learn so much about it, and really dive into a topic I'm really passionate about, and it's something that I am entirely grateful for. As a Spanish and arts and letters pre-health major in particular, this experience will be one of the best experiences for me as I move on to medicine. I think that I can come out with some really strong lessons for giving better obstetric care, and I definitely look to be involved with public health around the world. So I think it's really setting me up for a good future in medicine, being a bilingual physician. I received a year off grant to study in Ireland this summer. In Dublin, I'm working in the National Library. I'm studying William Parsons Ross, and he is the third Earl of Ross, and he built a large telescope in Burr, Ireland. It was the largest telescope in the world up until the 1900s. He trained his own workers, he built his own forge. So I found that really fascinating, and it got me wondering why someone like him would be building such a thing at the time. I'm looking at several books that uh, Lord Ross wrote. I actually read this morning in the National Library that Burr became sort of a mecca for astronomers and people from all over the world, like Australia and New Zealand and America and all parts of Europe, would just come to Burr and look at the telescope, write about it, use it, because there really wasn't anything like it. I've been in contact with the current Earl of Ross and I've secured access to the archives in Burr Castle where Lord Ross lived. I'm going to be able to go through all of Lord Ross's private papers. And then while I'm in Burr, of course, I'll get to see the giant telescope. What just really got me was the incredible size of the telescope. It must have taken so much manpower to construct something like that. It's so fantastic to be able to come. Living in Ireland is wonderful. And if I wasn't able to get the grant, I definitely wouldn't have been able to come here and see the things I'm seeing. Being able to go to the library when I need to, visit the archives when I need to, it's really great to have that sort of freedom that I need to do the research. Mm -hmm.